Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about a layer three device, a router, its main functions, and some physical ports on the router. What's a router? A router is a device that operates at layer three, or the network layer of the OSI model. A router delivers traffic between different networks. Router are bridges across networks. No router, no internet. Like our computer, a typical router has internal processor, an operating system, and a memory. We can have different types of routers based on different criteria. For example, on a sophisticated level. Some routers are simple, like Soho routers, and some routers are very sophisticated and powerful, like the Internet Backbone routers. If we categorize them by transmission media, we have wireless routers versus wired routers. If we categorize them by hardware and software. We have two types of routers. Some are physical, some are logical. What are functions of a router? First and most important, router deal with IP addressing. A router delivers data based on IP addresses. Second, router can determine the best path for data to travel. Between two networks, routing protocols are used to calculate the most efficient pathway. Besides, a router can filter and block broadcast transmissions, which means any broadcast message on the line will not go beyond. Router can also filter and monitor network traffic, and. Router can diagnose problems and trigger alarms, and so on. Let's talk about interfaces and ports on a router. There's a wide range of routers in the market. They look all different, but they are similar in terms of interfaces and ports. For a typical enterprise-level router, you can always see three types of physical ports: a console port. LAN port and WAN port. What's the difference between the interface and the port? The port is where you plug in the physical keyboard connector. The interface is what you configure in the router's operating system. Therefore, the interface is the software representation of a physical port. Like on the back, you might see the physical port labeled Fast Ethernet. But when you configure it, like in Cisco's CLI, you might use F zero slash zero or F zero slash one. That's the interface. A console port is for an administrator's access to configure the settings and the troubleshooting. This port is normally indicated in baby blue color. The keyboard we use to connect to the computer is called the console keyboard. Console keyboards are flat and baby blue in color too, and they are also called rollover keyboards. This router has two Ethernet network ports. They are LAN ports. They can be connected to the switch or a computer used RJ45 connector and straight through keyboards. Auxiliary port is commonly used as a dial-up port for remote router management. It's connected to modem and enables the administrator to make a phone call to connect to the router. It's like remote console port. Serial ports provide a serial data communication link. They are one ports connecting different. One-side networks. Routers can connect different networks, such as Ethernet, Sonnet, Frame Relay, ATM, or Doxis cable service. 
You can add ports to most series routers. For example, Cisco routers come with removable modules. If you want to connect it to ATM by ATM module, and if you want to connect it to keyboard modem by a keyboard modem module, the router is very flexible and intelligent machine. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.